The first time we went to Ikea, it was right after we bought our cottage. And we were thinking that it would be awesome to get some ideas um, for small space living. On my most recent trip, I got some crazy cool inspiration. I came home and made this awesome dresser using Debbie's DIY clay and chalk base paint and an Iron Orchid Designs butterfly stamp. The purpose of this trip was just to have a little bit of a getaway for the day. And I also thought I'd try to find a piece of something, some project that I could transform. I looked at glassware and kitchen stuff and textiles, benches and stools, furniture. Um, it's always disappointing to me when I see how poorly made some of this stuff is. There had to be something for the perfect Ikea hack, but I wasn't willing to pay these kinds of prices for a piece of furniture that I couldn't guarantee wouldn't fall apart in a couple of years. And then, light bulbs. I got my inspiration. Butterflies, everywhere butterflies. On pots, on shower curtains, on bedding, pillows. I could get this same look and I could have it be on a piece of furniture that I knew would last for many years. I was looking for a dresser, a dresser that could be easily transformed, had the sleek and simple lines of that Ikea style. And I found it. I removed all the hardware. I used my orbital sander just to smooth down the drawer fronts where the varnish had built up around the handles. This colonial looking piece on the bottom, it had to go and it popped right off. Something, um, but I want to always encourage people to, where you can, invest that money into a piece of furniture that's made to last. It is an inspiring place to be. Um, you can get lost easily. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. You can really get lost. This is the part of the trip where I just, I've had enough. I want to get out of here. Um, we feel like we're walking in circles. Even though JR's got a really good sense of direction, it never fails. We get lost in Ikea. This is probably the easiest dresser I've ever painted. After cleaning the piece really well, I gave it two coats of Debbie's DIY clay and chalk base paint in beadboard. JR replaced that bottom colonial looking piece with a solid panel. I think it gives it a little bit more of a modern updated look. second time we went to Ikea, we took our friends on a Sunday afternoon. We drove up to Canada to, actually we drove to Toronto to buy some raggedy old screens. And, and then we took them to Ikea because they'd never been there. They had to get the Swedish meatballs, you know, that whole deal. And we wandered through that store for an hour and the only thing I bought was a bundle of sticks. As we came back across the border into the US, the border patrol guy 
you know, roll down the windows. He's looking in the back of the trunk. Are you bringing anything back with you? Yes, we went to Ikea and I bought some old screens up in Toronto. <laughs> Once the dresser was completely dry, I measured each of the drawers and then made a pattern on some brown craft paper. The drawer pattern will help me to lay out my butterfly stamps so that they fit each of these drawers appropriately. I was careful to arrange the butterflies differently on each of the drawers. I used my Iron Orchid Designs thin mount to pick up sections of the butterfly stamps. And then I ink them with Iron Orchid Designs permanent ink in black. I think using the ink gives stamps with all this detail so much of a crisper, finished look. Then I carefully apply them to the drawer fronts. I'm pressing on the stamps without shifting so I don't get any smudging or blurring. We bought a bunch of old screens up in Toronto. We looked in the back of the car and was like, okay. Mm -hmm. If I do get a little bit of a smudge, I can always touch over it with my paint. This is label ephemera. I know that there is something to do with entomology on here. There it is. I'm finding the center of this transfer section just by counting the grid lines. And I also measured that panel on the bottom of the dresser. I'm finding the center of that as well. And then lining up my transfer on the panel. You can't get sticks in the United States. <laughs> it's like, can't get Swedish sticks. And he said, correction, can't get Chinese sticks. <laughs> so, when I first apply the wax, it's gonna look a little bit blotchy, but all of that will even out. Debbie's DIY waxes are really awesome. They're soft and buttery. They apply so easily and they're not stinky at all. It's the next day and now I am just taking my lint-free cloth and I am buffing this wax to create a really soft sheen. The 
the more you buff it, the shinier it gets. I like to line all of my drawers just to give them a pretty pop of color on the inside. I think it finishes off the distresser very nicely. I often use a good quality gift wrap that I find at the big box home goods stores. It makes a really nice drawer lining and I can get some very pretty patterns. He told us to have a nice day and we came home. Do you know I still use those two bundles of sticks in my shop even today and we've had them for years. But um, yeah, it's a fun place to go for inspiration. Yeah, so on this trip to Ikea, all I came home with was a dish rack and a lamp and a lot of inspiration for my new dresser. We created a modern look for this piece and it really didn't take much time at all. And it totally has that Ikea look. I'm good with it. I know that this, this little dresser is gonna outlast anything that I could have purchased at any big box store. You can purchase all of the products that I used for this IKEA-inspired makeover at ellenjgoods.com.